He would come to the gym, and if it, say, he didn't get a ride to the gym, he didn't have no car, he would run. He would run across the causeway. Muhammad Ali, one of my great heroes, had a great line in the 70s when he was asked, how many sit-ups do you do? He said, I don't count my sit-ups. I only start counting when it starts hurting. When I feel pain, that's when I start counting because that's when it really counts. That's what makes you a champion. Jerry, I'm the greatest fighter that ever stepped foot in the ring. Money will be lost that night. This will be the biggest upset in the century of all boxing. I think you're a big bag of wind. Damnedest showman that ever lived, and you ain't kidding anybody. The odds are seven to one. It's very big odds for a heavyweight championship fight. It has to be Liston. Liston is a much bigger puncher. For all these big mouth people talking about I talk too much, well, I want all of them to be there, and I'm going to shut up all of his mouth. And Cassius Clay has won after six rounds. Cassius is not my name no more. You want to keep calling me a white man's name? I'm not white. He continues to scream at Terrell. He beat the hell out of those who didn't want to use his name. Mr. Muhammad Ali has just refused to be inducted into the United States Armed Forces. I'm just about broke. I'm not allowed to work here now in America. I'm going to fight, not for me, but to uplift my little brothers who are sleeping in the concrete floors today in America. They want to be more famous. They have people. It's a wonderful world. I'm going to float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. George can't hit what his eyes can't see. All of you chumps are going to bow when I whip him. All of you. I know you got him. I know you got him picked. But the man's in trouble. I'm going to show you how great I am. Bluffed him. I'd done everything. Beat him up basically for about five or six rounds. I thought it was easy. Then about the sixth round, he whispered in my ear after I'd hit him in the side. That all you got, George? Talk about who's gonna stop me. Well, ain't nobody gonna stop me. I must be the greatest. I took up the world. I took up the world. I, up the world. I told you, all of my critics, that I was the greatest of all time. He who's not courageous enough to take risks will accomplish nothing in life. Kid, you always bet certain fellas, I'm gonna be champion one day, and when I'm champion, I'm gonna come back and show you I'm wrong. Another said, guys, I'm gonna be a great doctor one day, and I'm gonna be a dentist, I'm gonna be a great scientist, I'm gonna be a president of the country. And but very few people actually are able to make good of the boats and come home and say, I told you.